Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. Today I'm going to show you how to make this altered bottle with just things around your house with the bottle and some other found objects and hidden treasures. Stick around and let's make an altered bottle together. So first we're going to start with a glass bottle. I'm using this black and gold and it's just a gorgeous bottle. I mean look at this. It is beautiful. I love the bottle. It'd be great to display just like this, but I must alter it. I must. But before we start, look, my nails. I actually put nails on and I think they look fabulous. They're like this iridescent sheen. Love them. They're just kiss glue on nails. Anyway, that's a side note. Today I have them on. When I finish the project, they probably will be different. Anyway, side note. So what I'm going to do is first put a layer of texture on to begin with. I want it textured and I don't know if I'm going to do the neck of the bottle, but we'll see how it goes. You've already seen the finished product, so you already know why I decide, but right now I'm beginning it. I am going to use, oh, my have already opened it, uh, the Soft Gloss Gel by Art Basics, and I like the gloss, and, and I think, I don't know how much will show through, but I'm a gloss fan. I like everything shiny and glossy, so I'm going to use this, and I'm using it as a glue because I'm going to use uh, an old pattern. Let me move that out of the way again. This old McCall's, look at these fabulous pictures. These will be used in my collages. Love them, they're so cute. Anyway, you open up these old patterns and I'm never going to make this and I don't sew all that great stuff, but these patterns have great details in them. The, I use the girls for collages, I use the backs, I use the papers. Uh, the instructions. I use them for all kinds of things. So I'm going to use them in this. Now I've got the tissue paper and now I'm going to use the tissue paper, crinkle it up and glue it onto my bottle here. Let me show you how we do this. Very similar to the technique with the tissue paper rose that I made and I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. Very similar. I love to use tissue paper. I've used it in a lot of other uh, projects and you crinkle it up and sorry about the noise. That's kind of probably really obnoxious, but sorry about that. Open up my bin and I'm going to spread it all on. And oh, there's a ruckus going on. Hold on. Let me, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. There was a ruckus going on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread some of this gloss medium on here and I'm going to crinkle this up. I don't want it sticking up too much, but I want it sticking up just enough to give texture. I'm going to spread it on the inside and your fingers will get gluey. That's just the fun of it. And I'm just going to keep on going and I'm going to speed this up because there's really not much I can tell you other than just keep on going and you'll probably have to do it in sections. Things will need to dry and then you can go on to the next section and just keep ripping. You don't want sharp edges, so no cutting. Just keep ripping and gluing and before you know it, your whole bottle will have a really cool texture. Okay, I'm coming up toward the end and now this is going to have to dry. Because if I start layering on other wet mediums on top of this, it's just going to become a sloppy mess. So the first thing I need to do is probably overnight, just let this dry overnight. Now this is not a fast project. So I will come back to this uh, every few days and, and add more. And so you'll see me turn on the camera and add more and my nails may be different and other things may be different, uh, but that's okay. And I'm not sure if I want to do the neck or not. I'm going to leave it. And, and like I said, you've already seen the finished project, so you know what I decided. So I wish I had a time machine to tell me what I decided, but for right now, I am going to leave it because I think I want to add something else on the neck. I don't think I want to do this texture technique on the neck of the bottle. I think I want to add a little more interest and dimension. Also, let it dry and then you'll see what it's missing, what else you need. I need to smash some things down. It's kind of going all over the place. So let it do its thing, let it dry. And you can always cut off pieces and sand down pieces and, and do all kinds of things at the very end when it's all done. But that is layer one. So I will let it dry and I will be right back. Well, for you, it'll just be a second. For me, it'll be a day. 
All right, I'm back, and as you can see, it's been a while. It's been far too long. I don't even have my fancy dancy nails on anymore. Way too long. Anyway, I did put a layer of black gesso on the bottom half. You can see that here. Uh, my camera wasn't working, but that's okay. You know how to put gesso on. I've showed you a million times. Pretty easy, paint a layer on. But you can see that I still have some spots you can see here, so I'm not done. But before I add a second layer, I am going to start to add some decorations. I decided what I want to do on the top, and I have my bin of ribbon here, just labeled ribbon. Aren't those cute? I found those labels at the dollar store. They're just super cute. And I have some thick cording kind of thing. Anyway, uh, there's a little piece of tape on here I'm going to cut off. And... I am actually going to use some, scoot that over, super heavy gel. It's matte, super heavy gel from Liquitex. I've never used it before, so let's see how it goes. It might be terrible. It might be great. I don't know. All right, so I got um, one of these Art Basic. I'm just using it. It is the one inch, but I'm going to use this tool on the other end, and I'm just going to blob on some and I don't have a topper for this so I am going to take this all the way up to the top and it's okay if it shows if it doesn't dry clear that's okay because I will paint over it it'll all get a layer of black gesso and it will look amazing but I'm just blobbing it on but I want to be able to hold things down now this ribbon isn't very heavy it's actually kind of lightweight but that's okay uh i might add some stuff over the top of it i just want to make sure everything holds down and i am adhering to glass so i was thinking hot glue but hot glue straight on glass doesn't always work it it kind of makes a, a problem so i am just blobbing this stuff on and before you know it i'm probably going to use my fingers i'm just going to set it down like this okay. And I'm going to, I am just going to wrap it. And there we go. All right, it seems I ran out about right here and that's okay because we're going to add another texture. It's all about texture and it'll all look fine in the end when I add, um, when I add all the doodads and when I paint it all with black gesso, nobody is going to notice. What they will notice is that I have different textures going on. They'll notice how cool it really looks with all the different pieces and parts. And the whole idea with mixed media, especially using trash or recyclables or reusable things, the whole idea is to be flexible to know that you might run out of something. It's okay, no big deal. Grab something else, see what happens. And if you don't love it, you didn't put a lot of money in the materials. So it's okay if you don't love it and you end up pitching it. I don't want you to pitch your stuff, but if it happens that you do, it's okay. All right, so I just had some raffia at the end to finish that out and I'll put a little dab right there and I'm just going to kind of smooth it out because you will see this end here so you want to make sure it looks good that you're not making a huge blobby mess and there we go oh that's cool I actually really like the the two textures that's really cool all right ta-da easy as pie Oh my goodness, it was right here. I just must have had two pieces. Did not even notice. Oh my goodness. Why do you guys even watch me? I mean, really. I wasn't even paying attention. <sighs> you ever drive somewhere and you go, huh, I don't remember getting here. Well, sometimes that's how I craft. Huh, I don't remember doing this. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Now it's time to add some really cool textures onto the bottle. The bottle already has cool texture, but we're going to add more. I have these, I don't even know what they're called. They are samples 
from um, upholstery from a, a furniture store. So these are trim samples. I got them at Who Gives a Scrap. I was pretty excited. So I'm hoping that, oh yeah, they just rip right off. I'm hoping that I can just uh, put some on. I'll put, put it on here. Oh, you know, that tool, it's wonderful. What a great tool, but eh, fingers are pretty great. Okay, I think I will just start plunking on some stuff. Seeing what happens. I normally, on a bottle, I normally have a focal point, but this bottle, I want to have stuff kind of everywhere. I want to have a lot going on around the whole bottle, so it doesn't matter where you view it. I thought this bottle would be really cool to look at um, on a table or, or somewhere that you can see all sides. Now I have a, a jar, scoot that over, I have a jar that says buttons. No, this is not all the buttons I have. This is just my manageable pile. And, oh, that was loud, sorry. Sorry, sorry. But when I get through, or when I get down to a decent amount, then I grab more buttons and I fill up my jar. And I am off camera, sorry, I'm really not doing so hot. So I'm going to add some buttons. All right, now the whole jar, wine bottle, whatever it is, this beautiful bottle is all just out now. Make sure you lift it up, go side to side, hold it upside down, go in every single angle to make sure you've got everywhere covered with gesso. If you miss a spot, that's okay, as you're painting, just put some more gesso in and, and go to town. But it's all good to go, and actually I love this stage. Before, it's the ugly phase. It just looks terrible all the different colors and it's not very cohesive and let me tell you a secret about these roses they are not staying on I even hot glued that one it just they're just so darn cute they're just not wanting to stay I have no idea so I re hot glued that one but that's okay if things don't stay hot glue them put them on it's all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a base layer with this gunmetal gray from Folk Art. That's a, of course it's a metallic. Do I paint with anything else? I don't think so. And then good old Amethyst Folk Art, once again, a metallic paint as well. And I will highlight all the raised parts with that purple. So it's going to look really cool. I do love purple. All right, so I just have a plate that I keep reusing. I use it over and over and over again. No sense in wasting, especially since I'm using recycled materials. There's no reason to keep re or making new messes, you know, with stuff. So, all right. So what I'm doing is I'm just dry brushing this on. I am making a base layer, yes, but it doesn't have to coat it. I have a good coating of the gesso. So that gives me a good solid base. And so now I'm just putting a little bit of the gunmetal gray all over. Oh, I'm using Art Basics three quarters inch. It's got the little end there. I do love these brushes. They are pretty great. fingers getting stuck in there. May not be the best way to swirl the bottle around, but oh well. It happens, right? <laughs> if I got my finger stuck in here, could you imagine going to the ER? Hi, yeah, I need my finger removed, but don't ruin my bottle. Don't you dare destroy that. 
This bottle's gorgeous. You have to remove my finger. Just go ahead and amputate it. But I need to save the bottle. Oh, they'd look at me like I had four heads. <laughs> I'd be like, what is wrong with you? I'd be like, I don't have time to tell you. <laughs> all right. Done with the dry brushing. After all that prep work, it really doesn't take long to do the painting. But it is the most fun part. All right. So let me dry this. I'm going to actually get my heat gun out and dry it. And yes, you did see one of those. Oh, these are just not wanting to stay on. I tell you, maybe if I sand the bottom, rough it up. I just used, I just have this making memories. I don't know. I've had it forever. It's a little emery board. Maybe that'll help. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, everything should be dry by now. It's at least dry to the touch, so it's not too bad. And I have my purple. Now I'm going to dry brush it. Oh, I'm using, I have no idea. Artist Loft number seven. It's just a cheap brush. Doesn't really matter. Uh, all right. So now all I'm going to do is lightly dry brush over the highlights, over everything that's raised, including all the glue blobs that I did and the buttons and the roses, just highlighting. other bracelets in my stash. They're a, a stretchy bracelet just like this and I just have a stash of old costume jewelry and I'm just going to take it and wrap it around once and there we go. Now the neck of the bottle has a pretty silver detail on it and there we go. And that's it. That is how we make an altered bottle. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you can follow me on my blog, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.